And as the year 2022 draws to a close, Nigerians have been speaking on their expectations for 2023 and how hopeful of a credible election. Now, despite the challenges experienced in the outgoing year, they're looking forward to positive changes. Emmanuel Olubobogo tells us more in the report. The year 2022 brought with it a mixed grill of economic and security challenges for Nigeria. From the spate of kidnapping and banditry to the unending dilemma of bad and scarcity of fuel. As the nation adds to the polls in 2023, the next set of leaders have an onerous tax to put the country on the right track. Naturally, Nigerians who have been on the receiving end of these issues are interested in the future of the economy, especially inflation, growth and employment. Hello, a lot of us knows what happened this year, a lot of stress. Well, the country is just hot. So, for an average Nigerian, you know, next year is the year that we need to plan. So, we we'll have to plan, reduce the way we spend, focus more because and be more industrious. We pray for a new turn, a new turn for Nigeria, a new govern, a new governance, a new, a new change. We need not be the kind of change they give us for this 2022. We want new change. We don't want this present change that they gave to us because what they promised us is not what we are seeing. We need a new change. My own expectation is for us to have a better government. That's part how things are going. We just need a better government to like invest on the youth because many youth are just they are doing nothing, wasting. So we need a better government that we invest on the youth so the youth can be productive. The 2023 general election Nigeria is only a few weeks away as incumbent president Muhammad Bari's term comes to an end. The nation will elect a new leader. He is expected to fix a mismanaged economy and hopefully Nigerians can sleep with both eyes closed. For the election, what my expectations are um, we should vote for the right person. So I'm not going to mention anybody in it because everybody knows who are the, we all know the candidates, the presidential candidate of this country. For the, for the upcoming election. So I'm praying that everybody should vote for the right person so that by the next year, everything will work for, well for everyone. Well, for this election, I don't, I don't, I don't expect it to be, to be the usual thing because I feel like youths, youths nowadays have woken up. You know, gone are those days when we you know, play football at the backyard and be like, ah, they should do what they want. So I feel like this election, you know, we are coming out and we are going to have a voice. PDP, APC, there is a problem we are having. I'm a full member of PDP, you know, but I've seen it. PDP and APC are the same thing. But now nah, God has bring person like Peter Obi. My daddy told me it's going to be well, my son, and my daddy died. Now I'm telling my children it's going to be well, so when it's going to be well. But political violence continues to be over the country. Amongst its most worrisome manifestations are the attacks and offices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC which clearly aimed to undermine the electoral process itself. Emmanuel Olubububun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.